Hey everybody, Italian Boy 51 here, back with more Paper Mario. And if you noticed, I've changed up my badges again. Why? Well, because you're about to find out why. And why do I have bow out? And why am I all healer? Uh, why am I all healed? Not here. All questions that you would like to know the answer to. And why is Colorado here? Hmm, more questions. Oh boy, ahead is a pleasant path, but can't see Koopa is blocking it. It appears he's quite strong. I say, a strong brute indeed. This is a bit of a sticky wicket. Again, sticky wicket, I don't want to hear the rest of the conversation. Because in my mind, that's something gross. Hey, you must be Kent C. Hey, you in the hat, wait. It's fine weather, isn't it? My name is Kent C. Koopa. Please remember it, okay? Wow, he looks like a nerd, really. A hundred coins to pass, are you kidding me? I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you. Don't ask me again. We fighting. Those be fighting words. Alright, first thing you wanna do is you wanna put this guy to uh, sleep. Do not use Star Storm. Lullaby. He is completely and utterly successful. Ex su successful. Or accessible. I don't know. To Lullaby. Whatever. Lullaby works on him. And then just do nothing for right now with Buff. And then what you wanna do is you wanna knock him over onto his back. And then you want to smack Kensi Koopa's tail. Not him, his tail. If you smack him, it does no damage. However, you hit its tail, his tail is his weak point. Kind of like it is in every other game out there. Um, what else do we want to do? Boom. Six damage. And just keep this going. Eventually, he'll run out. I believe he has 40 HP, but if not, and yet again, I tend to be wrong on these things often. It's down at the bottom of the screen right now. And I'm probably putting a comment saying I'm a dumbass for not knowing this. What else can what else is now? What else can I do? And now I'm stumbling over my words again. I fail as an LP. -er. And then eventually he's gonna wake up, but he can't do anything, he's still on his back. Let's do a power jump again. He's one of those bosses where if you know how to beat him, he's really not that hard. However, if you don't know how to beat him and you try fighting him for your first time, blind, it's over. You're going to get destroyed. He's like the Lava Piranha. He can be hard. His attacks are so slow, though, that it doesn't really do much damage. But you want to put him to sleep so he stays on his back. Lullaby. Blah, 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 blah. Now, I believe I have never had an, out of all the times I fought him, I have never had an incident where he has not fallen asleep to lullaby. So if that happens, you can always use an item like stopwatch. Those always, those are the same thing as lullaby and they work just the same. You could actually probably use sleepy sheep too if you're too cheap to buy anything else. I don't know, I haven't really tried it. Anything that really puts them to sleep should work on this guy. I don't know. I'm too lazy to do the research. I'm a lazy LP here. Okay, now he should just... He should be just about done. And I'm still stumbling over my... And this is what happens when you attack the shell, everybody. I meant to do that. That was not by accident. That was on purpose. I meant to do that. I promise. I did not screw that up on by accident. And now he's dead. And we get a whole... Level up because of it! And I forgot what I leveled up last time. Um. I don't know. Let's go with uh, HP. Why not? All my stats are going to be changed in a few videos anyway because I'm going back to my other thing. Wow, you're really strong. Blah, blah, blah. You beat a guy my size. Oh, I'm going to run away crying right now because I look like a nerd. Alright, well, now Colorado can go back and see his wife. Well, we all know how that reunion's gonna be. And we don't really need to save or do anything, so let's go to Flower Fields. I bet you Chuck Norris is behind this door. I bet you he is. I bet you he is. I found Jesus! Mario's gone. Chapter 6. Dark Days in Flower Fields. I like my epic voice. I think I do it justice. What? Ho? Oh? Now who might that be? Who the hell is talking to us? Ho, 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 ho. I don't like how many times he's saying ho. 
You call me a hoe? I ain't no hoe. I am legal. Uh, Wisterwood. Wise Wisterwood. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. Well, I'm glad you heard a lot about me, but I'm not a son. I'm a plumber. Very noble, if that is true. Then your arrival means that there's a star spirit here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I am a tree, and I suck right now, and I cannot move. This is all my translation of what's going on. A creature called Huff and Puff moved here a long time ago, and he made all of us his bitches. These creatures created something to make clouds that make us bitches sad. The sun does it. I'm sorry about that. I'll probably cut that out. My dad making comments on my commentary. Yeah, he's not proud of me for cursing. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore, because he's a bitch. Oh, remember something. The rumor that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be a star spirit. Oh, ho! You're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff by yourself, then? Well, blah, 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 Mario, you're awesome. Magical bean that grows or something. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Mm, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she's off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her. All right, well, let's go visit Petunia. And off to the east would be this way. So if you talk to Wisterwood, he'll just tell you... Come on, give it to me. All right. If you talk to Wisterwood, he'll tell you... I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight... All right, I'll fight him. New enemy... Like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. If you talk to Wisterwood, he will give you hints on where to go to next in Flower Fields. And this new enemy is a Crazy Daisy. Alright, I predict the theme for this chapter to be bitches. That is the theme. The last theme for chapter 5 was, um, you know, inappropriate suggestions made by the characters pervertedness well the theme for this chapter is gonna be bitches somebody is always somebody else's bitch I pity the bitch I pity the fool okay now with these trees you want to oh whoa no ho oh, don't fight me no no I hate I hate you I hate you I hate you I didn't show that fight because um, we already met those enemies before in chapter 4. If you hit this tree, this tree, and then this tree, you'll get a badge. The happy flower badge. Yes, don't ask me how I know that. I'm just scary and genius, and I just ran into the crazy daisy. Okay, I just ran into a crazy daisy. That was not fun. Oh, look at this. We have Petunia. Do you have a second and listen to my tale? Ever since the sun went away, I began to drop uh, some energy at all. Without the sun, it just appears like th the whole world is sad. Now these Monty Moles dig into the ground and bite at my roots. Oh, woe was me. My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet. If this keeps up. Please, sir. You look strong and capable. Could you get rid of those Monty Moles for me? Yes, we can get rid of those Ma Monty Moles. This guy. And this jerk. And that jerk. And this ugly guy. And, well, don't worry about that guy, because he's ugly. Alright. Well, I'm going to end the video off right now. So if you like my videos, rate, comment, subscribe, and all this good stuff. And in the next video, we will take care of the Monty Moles for Petunia. Goodbye. See ya.